So the first thing we did was the preparation of the meter when we took it out of the storage solution and washed it with ionized water. Second, we took the pH of the buffer 7, then washed it again. Then we took the pH of buffer 4 to neutralize all the ions, and you can see there that we're doing that. And then we washed it again and took the pH of the buffer 7 again. You can see that it's equal to 7. Then we cleaned it and we cleaned it again, and then we took the pH of an unknown solution. After that, we count, we find what it is and write it down in our notebooks, and then we clean it and store it just like that. Uh, this is a second point calibration method, and uh, all four of the students follow the same method as you will see through the video. So that was the last student, and as he stores it, uh, we write down all of our information in our notebook, which is that right there. It's kind of hard to read, but everything's labeled, and all the concentrations are there. Also, uh, the proton dissociation behavior of a strong acid results in the acid almost completely dissociating in the solvent. A weak acid will not dissociate much at all, so that's the difference between them. Uh, the equilibrium constant for the strong acid is greater than 1, and the equilibrium constant for the weak acid is less than 1, so this will lead to equilibrium. A buffer solution uh, is one that resides in the pH when acid or base is added. It is used in neutralizing the hydrogen or hydroxide ions, but w without having an effect on the pH. And that's it. That's everything. And the students are Corey Hood, Jack Ryan, Joe Run, and Evan Scarborough.